Alkanols are compounds that contain the alcohol functional group, which results in them being polar molecules. The melting and boiling point of these alkanols are higher than their corresponding alkanes because of dipole-dipole attractions, first weak dispersion forces that bind hydrocarbon molecules together. This is explained by the hydrogen bonding between electropositive hydrogen atoms and the electronegative oxygen atoms of alcohol groups on neighbouring molecules. Hydrogen bonding also explains the high water solubility of the first four members of the alkanol homologous series, but as the chain increases, they become increasingly insoluble. Alkanoic acids contain the carboxylic acid functional group. They have greater molar weights than their equivalent alkanols or alkanes, so the dispersion forces between the molecules are also greater. Alkanoic acids are also usually slightly more polar than alkanols and so the dipole-dipole forces are greater. When an alkanol and an alkanoic acid of the same molar weight are compared, it's the alkanoic acid that has a higher melting point or boiling point. And this is mainly due to the more extensive hydrogen bonding between alkanoic acid molecules. As the carbon chain lengthens, the increasing dispersion forces dominate and there's this general trend of increasing boiling point with increasing molar weight. In fact, the hydrogen bonding between acetic acid molecules is particularly strong as experiments have shown that stable pairs of acetic acid molecules, also known as dimers, are present in the liquid. These dimers tend to break down on heating. Esterification is the process of making esters. The process is both slow and reversible and requires an acid catalyst between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. Water is a byproduct of the reaction, so it's considered a condensation reaction. Let's examine. When an alcohol like ethanol and a carboxylic acid like propanoic acid are warmed together with a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid, we'll flip this alcohol, we'll drop this and this, this will connect here, and these will form water. This is your ester and is called ethyl propanoate. Esters produced in the lab usually have a sweet smell, however, it's often masked by the funk of their carboxylic acid since its reactants and products are in the one vessel. A simple way to isolate a better smell is to carefully pour your mixture into water as both alcohol and carboxylic acids are soluble in water. Esters are insoluble, so should form a nice layer on top. So how are these named? Count the number of carbons in the alkyl group which comes from the original alcohol. Notice that it bonds here, so drop this and add this. Identify the number of carbons derived from the carboxylic acid, drop this and add O8. The final name consists of two separate words. 